I often see advertised online gadgets, etc., for centering pots on the wheel when you want to trim them or turn them, that sort of thing, um, decorate them. Uh, gadgets that will centre the pot for you, hold it in place, etc., etc. And I have to say, I'm very old-fashioned. I don't own any of those gadgets and never really have had any desire to do so. Um, so what I was going to do today was just show you how I turn. I'm turning some bowls um, uh, and I've, what I've got is I've got a pad of clay on the wheel there. You might see that I've inscribed some uh, circles. I often don't do that, uh, but I have been throwing a variety of sizes of stuff and turning them today and burnishing them, etc. Uh, so it's it's quite useful. It just helps you helps you get them closer to the centre when you put them in uh, onto the wheel head. Um, but at the moment, I'm about to trim up this uh, Chatterware Roman bowl. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on there. Um, now, in fairness, uh, I've put that pretty near the centre straight off. So I'll tell you what, I'll put it a bit further off centre, shall I? When I put the stuff, the stuff on the wheel, I'll often keep the wheel turning, i drop it onto the centre of the wheel, and what I do is I knock it into centre. It usually takes two or three knocks, and basically you've got it centred. Uh, and what I'm looking for is a centering around about here. It's not 100%, it doesn't need to be 100%, unless you're making extremely, extremely accurate stuff. But that allows you to go on centre. Now, I'm not going to put any bits of clay around it or anything like that to hold it. All I'm going to do is stick my finger on the top there and sort of hold it down while I trim it. And that, that allows me to really go in there and sort of hack away a fair bit of clay. And I'm going to trim that away. I'm going to trim this away. There we go. Tidy that up. Go in at the top. I'm not really putting much pressure on this to hold it in place, but it's staying, it stays put perfectly well. Taller, narrower objects can be a bit trickier, and if I'm making something particularly, if I'm working with something particularly tall and narrow, I will often use a chuck, so often a, a sort of open pot into which I can pop the, the thing that I'm turning, centre it in there, and do it that way. But basically, that's it. I bung the pot on the wheel and I get turning. And of course, my original job was as a potter in a pottery workshop, workshop making cups, saucers, plates, all that sort of stuff. Joe Finch's workshop, Joe and Trudy Finch up in Appin and Argyle, where we produce thousands of pots. And you can't mess about, you can't faff around with, uh, with little tools that you have to uh, clamp onto your pots and stuff like that. Uh, you need to get on with it and get the job done. So uh, this is the tool for doing the job. And quite frankly, because I'm talking to you, oh, it's taking me far, far longer than it normally would. That's not entirely finished, but it's pretty close. And you can see that what I've done is turn that into a perfectly functional Roman pot. There you go.